TNT equivalent is a convention for expressing energy, typically used to describe the energy released in an explosion. The ton of TNT is a unit of energy defined by that convention to be 4.184 GJ, which is the approximate energy released in the detonation of a metric ton of TNT. In other words, for each gram of TNT exploded, 4,184 joules or one large calorie equals 1,000 calories of energy are released. This convention intends to compare the destructiveness of an event with that of traditional explosive materials, of which TNT is a typical example, although other conventional explosives such as dynamite contain more energy. Kiloton and megaton The kiloton of TNT is a unit of energy equal to 4.184 terajoules. The megaton of TNT is a unit of energy equal to 4.184 petajoules. The kiloton and megaton of TNT have traditionally been used to describe the energy output, and hence the destructive power, of a nuclear weapon. The TNT equivalent appears in various nuclear weapon control treaties, and has been used to characterize the energy released in such other highly destructive events as an asteroid impact. <laughs> <laughs> Historical derivation of the value A gram of TNT releases 2673-6702J joules upon explosion. The energy liberated by 1 gram of TNT was arbitrarily defined as a matter of convention to be 4184 J, which is exactly 1 kilocalorie. An explosive's energy is normally expressed as the thermodynamic work produced by its detonation, which for TNT has been accurately measured as 4686 J per gram from a large sample of air blast experiments, and theoretically calculated to be 4853 J per gram. The measured, pure heat output of a gram of TNT is only 2724 J, but this is not the important value for explosive blast effect calculations. Alternative TNT equivalency can be calculated as a function of when in the detonation the value is measured and which property is being compared. A kiloton of TNT can be visualized as a cube of TNT 8.46 meters (27.8 feet) on a side. Comparing the actual energy yield of an explosion of TNT and a large nuclear device can be slightly inaccurate. Small TNT explosion, especially in the open, don't tend to burn the resulting carbon particles and hydrocarbons from the explosion due to rapid freezing of the burn due to gas expansion and pressure change effects. Large open explosion of TNT can maintain fireball temperatures high enough so that some of these products carbon soot, hydrocarbons, do burn up with the atmospheric oxygen. So, one can state that a nuclear bomb has a yield of 15 knots 63 times 1012 or 6.3 times 1013 J but an actual explosion of a 15,000 ton pile of TNT can yield for example 8 times 1013 J due to additional carbon, hydrocarbon oxidation not present in small open air charges. Topic: <laughs> Conversion to other units. 1 ton TNT equivalent is approximately 1.0 times 109 calories 4.184 times 109 joules 3.96831 times 106 British thermal units 3.08802 times 109 foot pounds 1. 162 times 103 kilowatt hours Topic Examples Topic Relative Effectiveness Factor The relative effectiveness factor, re factor relates an explosive's demolition power to that of TNT, in units of the TNT equivalent per kilogram, TNT -E per kilogram. The re factor is the relative mass of TNT to which an explosive is equivalent, the greater the re, the more powerful the explosive. 
This enables engineers to determine the proper masses of different explosives when applying blasting formulas developed specifically for TNT. For example, if a timber cutting formula calls for a charge of 1 kg of TNT, then based on octanitrocubin's re factor of 2.38, it would take only 1.0, 2.38, or 0.42 kg of it to do the same job. Using PETN, engineers would need 1.0, 1.66, or 0.60 kg to obtain the same effects as 1 kg of TNT. With ANFO or ammonium nitrate, they would require 1.0, 0.74, or 1.35 kg or 1.0, 0.42, or 2.38 kg, respectively. Calculating a single refactor for a explosive is, however, impossible. It depends on the specific case of use. Given a pair of explosives, one can produce two times the shockwave output this itself extremely depends on the distance of measuring instruments but the difference in direct metal cutting ability may be four times higher for one type of metal and seven times higher for another type of metal. The relative differences between two explosives in shaped charges will be even greater. The table below should be taken as an example and not as a precise source of data. Topic. Refactor examples Asterisk, TBX thermobaric explosives or EBX enhanced blast explosives, in a small, confined space, may have over twice the power of destruction. The total power of aluminized mixtures strictly depends on the condition of explosions. Topic. Nuclear examples See also Bresens Net explosive quantity Nuclear weapon yield Orders of magnitude energy Relative effectiveness factor Table of explosive detonation velocities Ton 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 of oil equivalent, a unit of energy almost exactly 10 tons of TNT